What's up YouTube? Took me a little longer than I expected, but finally have the review ready here of this, the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop PC. This is a $99 budget Windows 10 desktop PC in a very small form factor. It's about the size of a large smartphone. And it comes with uh, a dock. This is included in the $99.99 MSRP. And what you get with this uh, out of the box is the ports. So USB 3.0, 2.0, and HDMI plus the power all come with this dock. And it snaps right into this interface here. And they sell this dock separately as well for, I believe, $39.99. And the plan is to add additional functionality later on in the future with different inputs. So you can imagine uh, having VGA or DVI or DisplayPort or some other form of display out and leaving that at work and then having this HDMI one at home, you'd be able to just disconnect the unit, leave the dock, attach to the display, and then take this home and slip it right into your pocket. So for point of size comparison, this is a Moto X 2014. You can see how similar they are in size. So this will actually fit right in your pocket. The other thing that enables this to work is it has a built-in battery and the battery lasts for about four hours so according to the manufacturer now I'd say if you're actually using it mixed use you'll probably get about 2.5 to 3 hours uh, but still that's plenty to disconnect this unit take it to a different room if you're at work or actually take it from work to home or vice versa and still have it be running if you really want to be uh, portable with it on the side here, you get a micro uh, SD card slot and a micro USB port. The port will charge the battery, so you can actually run this off of a uh, decent amp uh, portable battery pack, like for your cell phone. In addition to that, you they also have free software you can download that you can connect this to an iPad and use the iPad as an external display. Now, like with most USB displays, it's got something of a uh, lower refresh rate so you can't use it for gaming but for displaying uh, more static images light web browsing presentations etc typing a word document that would work fine so a lot of portability options with this um, machine so as far as the specs I did go over them in detail in my unboxing which I'm gonna link right up here you can click on that for more details it's got the Intel Atom X5 Z8500 processor. This is a Cherry Trail class processor. So it's a little bit faster and better graphics processor in particular as compared to the Bay Trail generation, the 3735F that you see in most of these types of devices. Um, so not a huge performance upgrade, but it does go from four execution units to 12 execution units in terms of the graphics integrated graphics processor and uh, so you do see some nice gains there in terms of uh, rendering uh, you know high def videos a 1080p video uh, web browsing and gaming uh, as far as what you can do with this device I tested it and I'm going to do this a little bit differently this is going to be pretty short at the end of this I am actually edited together a reel that's going to show uh, a bunch of different things from web browsing to local gaming to a number of other, you know, watching video and so on. Um, but in brief, MS Office apps uh, work very well on this. Um, you know, it's not perfect for really complicated Excel work. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best for building really complicated PowerPoint presentations, but for running presentations, basic Office, basis, basic Excel, it works very well. 1080p video is no problem. I tested YouTube, I tested Amazon, uh, no issues whatsoever. Netflix, all fine. Um, I tested Chrome browsing. So Octane scores on this are between 7,500 to 8,000, give or take. Actually similar to the Cloudbook 11 and Cloudbook 14 that I tested not that long ago, but in actual use, this feels much faster and much snappier, probably because it's a quad core and those are dual core. Uh, so, you know, four or five Chrome tabs, it actually works pretty well. Uh, so nice web performance with this. Um, local gaming, you 3D, probably the best you're going to get is uh, some of the older Source Engine titles. 
They run okay at 720p in low settings. Uh, anything modern doesn't work. Rocket League doesn't work. But it can run Hearthstone. Uh, it can run Magic the Gathering online. You can play indie games on this without any problem. I'm going to show a bunch of those uh, in the clips that follow. And also Steam streaming works very well. So I did play Rocket League on this, streaming it from my gaming PC. Um, note that it has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. So fast Wi-Fi speeds with this, actually. I pulled uh, uh, 80 megabits up and down uh, from down here in my basement, my router upstairs in the living room. If you want to hook up an Ethernet uh, to this, there's a... 20 to 25 dollar uh, options available on Amazon um, that will give you an Ethernet as well as a USB hub. So those are nice uh, for the price. Minecraft, uh, the Windows 10 beta works terrific. The Java based traditional PC Minecraft works okay. Uh, 20 to 25 FPS with uh, Optifine at 1080p. If you turn the display resolution down, that frame rate will go up to about 30. So you can get a pl at fast graphic settings, 30 uh, FPS at um, you know 720p will work fine. Um, as far as the processor, as you might expect with this form factor, there's going to be some thermal issues. It is passively cooled. It's got vents on both sides, uh, so there's no fan, so it's totally silent, but it gets hot. I mean, you could fry an egg on this after 10 minutes of gaming with it. Um, so that's something to be aware of. It didn't throttle actually all that much. I expected it to see a lot more throttling just from feeling how warm it got. So I don't know if that's something to be worried about or not, but uh, be, just be aware that it does get pretty warm uh, with extended use. So, uh, but all in all for $99, um, you know, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs local storage, the two USB ports, HDMI, detachable dock, it has a fingerprint scanner, um, Bluetooth 4.0, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, and the uh, Atom X5 Cherry Trail processor. This is a pretty nice machine. Um, you know, the performance is solid uh, and it's very versatile. So you get a lot of nice use out of this. You know, you compare this to a $50 Steam Link or you know a $100 set top box. This will do all that uh, video streaming, the PC streaming. Uh, as far as games, you can stream your Xbox One to this, uh, Windows 10. It comes with Windows 10 pre-installed. Um, well, actually, a, a super clean Windows 10 uh, install also, I should note. 19 gigs of storage free. The only icon on it on first boot is the recycle bin. I can't even tell you. I've never seen a a PC uh, come with this clean of a Windows install. So kudos uh, to uh, um, the kangaroo for that. So yeah, I, I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with this. I have to say for $99, um, this definitely exceeded my expectations. And I think that as a product, there's some pretty cool things that they could do with this. I mean, you can imagine if there was like a, you know, a tablet dock um, that you could slide this into. I know some that's been tried before, like a detachable tablet. But um, you know, if they made a dock, you could just slide this in. Um, I think that would be uh, that would be pretty cool. You know, you can really see how we're getting uh, closer to that day where you've got one device that you carry in your pocket. That's you know, a tablet and a PC, uh, or a phone and a PC all in one, and you just use this, and and it does uh, all the stuff you needed to do. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, again, following this, there's going to be a good uh, uh, several minutes of um, demo, of video, web browsing, uh, Minecraft, and a few other things. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you'd like. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, liking is always appreciated. Click the link up here for my full written review of the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop PC. You can check out my website Voltron00x.com for reviews of more gadgets like this. As always, stay safe out there and I'll see you next time.
are you? I'm no one.